अगर किस्मत आजमाते आजमाते थक गए हों तो कभी खुद को आजमाइए नतीजे बेहतर होंगे हेलो अगेन मैं हूं सुशील गजवानी एट जेके इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ करियर एजुकेशन वी टच द फ्यूचर वी टीच फ्रेंड्स आई एम श्योर यू कम अक्रॉस अ लॉर ऑफ पीपल टीचर्स यू नो फैमिली मेंबर्स फ्रेंड्स नेबर्स सम टाइम और यू अदर डिस्करेज यू यू हैव प्रॉब्ली टॉक्ट अबाउट योर ड्रीम अबाउट योर एस्पिरेशन अबाउट योर एम्बिशंस एंड सम ऑफ दिन प्रॉब्ली कम बैक एंड सेट यू दैट लुक यू कैन डू इट It's not possible for you. It's never possible for you. You're not going to achieve it. Have you come across such people? Have you ever faced these people in life? Some of you must have, I'm sure. I want to share a story. Encourage dreams, motivate dreamers, give openings and opportunities to people who dream big. This is a beautiful story. A simple story. You know, after a class teacher gave homework to her students to write an essay about it, about their dreams, about their aspirations, the students came back a few days later with their essays and submitted their essays to the teacher. Well, a few days later, the teacher returned their essays with marks written on them. now this essay writing was very important for every student because those marks were were to be carried to the final score in the final exam score so it did matter to all the students that they scored well so well every student got some marks for the essay and um, one of the students was called to take his paper from the teacher so when he went to the teacher walked up to the teacher she gave him his his answer paper and when he looked at the paper there was a very clear sign of f written over it capital f in red it meant fell so the student was surprised and um, he asked his teacher why she had felled him why she had not given him some marks because he had actually written an essay about his dreams and aspirations Well, the teacher said to him that, uh, looking at his family background, his financial background, he was a poor boy. The teacher did not think that this boy would ever, ever fulfill his dreams or achieve whatever he has aspired to achieve through his dreams. So she did not think it necessary to give him marks at all. So she asked him. to take the paper back write another essay more realistic more pragmatic more down to earth about his dreams a dream the kind of dream that he would hopefully achieve and then she would of course give him marks that would be counted in his final score the boy was disappointed but he said fine teacher and then he took the paper home discussed that situation with his father father said look i can't advise you what to do it is your dream it's these are your aspirations and if you have written your aspirations as as an essay as she had asked you the teacher asked you and if she's failed you is is your call you got to decide whether you want to write a new essay or stick to your dreams whatever i mean you you got to take this call that's what the father says to him so the boy takes a deep breath and uh, thinks for a while has a cup of tea while sipping a tea you know he thinks about it thinks what his father says to him thinks what the teacher said to him thinks about his dreams and his aspirations and uh, then he goes to sleep he decides to think of it the next day well he goes to sleep a deep slumber peaceful sleep the next week when he you know comes to school he submits his essay to the teacher and uh, the teacher looks at the essay and is surprised she says to him look i asked you to write a new essay more realistic uh, down to earth essay an essay of your dreams that match your present conditions of poverty you have just returned the same essay to me why have you done it why have you written a new essay that's when the boy raises his chin up chest out 
very confident, relaxed, looks at his teacher and smiles, very polite smile of course, very humble smile. He says to the teacher, Teacher, I stick to my dreams. I want to be true to my aspirations. I want to be true to my dreams. I certainly want to fulfill them. And of course, you're true to your job. You're please let the fail remark stay on the paper. It's, perf it's perfectly okay. I accept it. No complaints. But I want to stick to my dreams. I certainly decided to stick to my dreams. Teacher says, fine. That's, that's good enough. Do as you please. What happens then? My dear friends, can you imagine what could happen later, after that? Well, let's change the scenario. Let's change the scene. Let's change the time. It's 20 years later. The same teacher, now 20 years older, obviously, takes her new class of students to show them around the large 200 acre ranch with a lot of thoroughbreds. You know what thoroughbreds are? Real horses, great breed horses, and a lot of, you know, old beautiful cars, mansion, and a beautiful, beautiful ranch. A lot of landscaping and great flowers around and beautiful trees around. So the teacher is taking her students around on that ranch, showing them around it. It's a picnic for the students, plus, you know, an opportunity for the students to look at this well-known, highly admired ranch of a place. So by the evening, they take a look around the entire ranch, which is a huge thing, and then um, they, they are asked to sit in a hall, a beautiful, beautiful hall, you know, gorgeous looking, magnificent hall, and the students sit there, and the teacher sits there, and there are a lot of, you know, attendants to them. And finally, the owner of the ranch comes there. He comes there with a big smile and, you know, well-dressed, full suit and formally dressed, beautiful. He welcomes the teacher, shakes hands with her and talks to every student, shakes hands with every one of them, and asks them they, if they enjoyed the visit to, to his ranch. Then, of course, they have tea and, you know, they have lovely things to eat and, you know, they have a wonderful time together. And then the teacher gets up to talk to her students and then tells them how 20 years ago she had busted the dream of a young boy in a class. This, that boy had written an essay about his dreams and she had then thought that it was impossible for that boy to ever achieve those dreams that he had written about in the essay. So she had failed him. But Today, where they, where they were visiting the ranch and looking at those thoroughbreds and all those beautiful place and all those things around there, she says, you know who that boy is? It's this gentleman, the owner of this ranch, who was my student 20 years ago, and I was a teacher who had busted his dreams then. But, but, the boy had said, no, I would not write my essay again. I stick to my dreams. You can please fail me. Today, I failed him. I did try to bust his dreams, break his aspirations, discourage him, demotivate him, but he stuck to his dreams and today you see this man having achieved his dreams and fulfilled his aspirations. He is the owner of all this huge, magnificent uh, you know, ranch. He's the same boy I had busted dreams of. So that's the time, you know, the teacher says, this very often the teachers and a lot of friends and family members who, you know, bust the dreams of their, you know, family members and friends. You know, they always think through their point of view. They think nothing is possible. Nothing that is maverick or unorthodox or something that is huge, huge, huge. They think it's impossible achieving it just because they couldn't have achieved it. So, my dear friends, that's how in real life is. You should never allow others to bust your dreams. In fact, you should never discuss your dreams unless the person appreciates you, admires you, or understands your dreams, understands your capabilities. Very often, you are a very capable person, but the other person may not really understand you. He may probably look at you through his or her point of view, and his or her point of view may not be as brave or as courageous or as talented as you may be. So, your dream is yours. Your aspirations are yours. 
so you should always always stick to your dreams and not be discouraged by any of these you know naysayers as they call them